What's up guys? This is Building Before Bedtime and today I have the 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack set from January 2022. It's recommended for ages 6 and up. It has 105 pieces and 4 minifigures. 3 Snow Troopers and 1 Scout Trooper. And on the back of the box we've got our Snow Troopers hanging around behind a snowbank. Our Scout Trooper like tending to a speeder bike. We see we have a new stud shooter piece here on our uh, Lego E-Web. We have our Snow Trooper going to reload that. We have Lego Star Wars up here. We got the set number. And then we have Lego Life add. Our actual size figure picture here has like a slant up at the top and then a rectangle below it. It's kind of like half a rectangle. And then we have this blue stripe at the front, which seems to be going with all the Hoth sets. So far, we've got Darth Vader down in the corner and some black greebling up here. Anyway, so and how we open this one, we just got a single push tab. So we'll push in on that. Open it. Destroy the box. And dump it out. Dump out content. So we've got two numbered bags. or No, not two numbered bags. Just two bags. One and two containing the smaller pieces of the set. All the minifig heads. And some clip pieces and a pair of binoculars right there. Then we've got a tiny, very small instruction manual. And here we have our QR code. Assuming for the online instructions, haven't tried that out yet. Getting all our minifigures in the one bag. And oddly enough, there is a minifigure head in here. But the other three heads are... In here so it's kind of odd but anyways we'll open these up and build up the set here are all the minifigs you get total in the set you get three of these regular snow troopers and this one Kind of like the clone trooper that came in the 75280 501st Legion clone trooper set has an extra long blaster rifle with a black candlestick piece on the end. So you can see there's two different pieces. Makes it an extra long rifle for him so he could be your sniper. And under the helmet we get not an angry clone face but a smiling uh, snow trooper face. And the next one, we get a normal, normal size rifle. And under there, we get a feminine looking face. And everything else is exactly the same. And for our third snow trooper, we have a male looking face, which I believe came in the marauder set the imperial armored marauder i believe that's the same face but then also armor and helmet piece are the same on all three of the snow troopers and then we have our hoth scout trooper which ha has a small pistol for the weapon and the scout trooper helmet and some new printing see grab our snow trooper here you can see the difference all the way up from the legs to the head. We've got a tube, or a backpack with a tube going down on the back. And back printing on here is just like the normal Stormtrooper, Snow Trooper backpack. But then we've got another difference under the helmet. And this is another more feminine looking face. But we're not completely sure about that, so... And we have, like, padding instead of just normal um, snow trooper, scout trooper, storm trooper armor. I guess to, like, insulate the armor and keep it warm. Continuous print all the way down to the legs. No side leg printing. Obviously, it's going to be, it's a battle pack. It's not going to be the best minifigure you've ever seen, but it's a pretty cool one. And then that's all the minifigures you get in the set whatsoever. There's only one bag in this set, so I'm not going to do the minifigs by bag, of course, because 
there would be no point in that. There's only one bag. So we'll move on to the first build, which is the Hoth Speedlight. And that is it. We are done with the builds and minifigures of the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. So, we have our Snow Trooper who didn't get any gear. We have a Snow Trooper with an E Web cannon. And then a Snow Trooper behind a snowbank, which is pretty cool. Unless, I mean, if you were to buy a bunch of these, it would just be the same snowbank. It would look really fake. But for Spine 1, and put your sniper back there, and you can't put him all the way up to the front. Actually, I believe you can. Yeah, you can, but he kind of looks like he's just like on top of the snowbank, like trying to climb it over. But you have to put his arm up, or her arm up, all the way, because there's not enough stud space to be like out here. There's only six studs down there, so you can't sit him in there without his hands hitting the wall, like that. You get just the right spot, you can get it to work, but it's easier just to lift the hand up and put them, I prefer in the middle, right, like that. Looks like he's standing in the back a little bit from the snow, but still has his gun at the ready. And we have Scout Trooper with, or Hoff Scout Trooper with our speeder bike. So these can move up at the front if you wanted to like rotate them, but they're supposed to be, see, they break off, they're a little flimsy, so you gotta get them on there just right. And originally I thought these bars were gonna be straight, but you actually need to rotate them to angle these front pieces correctly. And you can stand up your scout tripper in there, there are no studs, there's one of these little divider pieces that you can put between the legs. And that will hold your scout trooper in there. There's no clip for a weapon, so they have to hold on to their weapon or put it on the ground. And then there's the foot pedals down here, which obviously aren't going to work with a minifigure. But are good for added detail. And then like the bark speeder from 75280, 501st Legion clone troopers. The handlebars move individually. And you can move the piece at the top by rotating it. Or you can move the piece at the bottom line it up just right with your figure's hands which also helps them when you only have to hold it with one hand and you can move them individually so you can leave the other one it's like it doesn't have to be in the exact same spot so you can have them hold on with just one hand and we have some flaps here at the back not sure what they do and then this tan piece which i'm assuming is like a saddle bag or a control panel up here at the front it's not a new print but still nice to get on a speeder bike and then we've got like a little stick co coming out here and then like intake, I guess, or exhaust down here. On the right, that's the one thing. It's asymmetrical. The one thing on this entire speeder bike, besides the print, obviously, it's not gonna be symmetrical. But that's the only thing that's not symmetrical on the rest of the speeder bike. So you rip that off and replace that piece it was something that isn't a clip or you could take it off and you could use it as like a weapon or you could clip your scout troopers weapon there but i'm just gonna leave it on for the sake of being right and that just fell off so apparently this back piece falls off which i was holding it weird and if you push up on it it's obviously it's gonna fall off because it's only on there by two studs and it's not touching anything really it's not connected, so it's just going to rip up from those two studs. And we have our E-Web cannon, which... Ah, stud shooter. But it's a new design of stud shooter. Different than the older design, which I can go grab from a First Order set real quick. 
which was mounted on the front of a first order snowspeeder. And you can see the stud shooter design is very different besides the color of the stud. But, um, so this one you put the stud in the front and it clips in there like a normal piece. And you push down on the gray piece on the top to shoot it. And then you can reload it from the front. And then our newer stud shooter, you put the stud in sideways like this. And it just slides in and clips in. Like that. Just clicks into place. And you push down. Again, you just push down on this gray piece. But, and it kind of looks like an angry eye. Like a red eye from the side. Which is a cool aspect, I guess. And you just... And this one has a lot more power, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, see? That's gone. Actually, it's right here. And you can put it in with the stud like this. Or like this. Doesn't matter which way it's facing when you load it in. And when there's no stud in there, after you push this down, you get a really sleek, clean look. And it's kind of hard to, like, get it back up. Like, you have to actually touch it. It doesn't just go back up. There, see? Versus the old stud shooter, if you didn't have a stud in it, it would just kind of push on this front piece and it would go down, but it would just go up and down a lot, and this stays down. So it gives you a sleek, clean look for that. And then we've got a handle at the back, and it could have benefited from a battery pack, which I guess you can custom make, but it would have been really nice if they included one in the set. So we might just take this over here and do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick of how far the stud shooters will shoot. So we've got, and for the sake of clarity, we'll keep it like this with the red stud and the green stud, so we obviously know which one came from which. We have our E-Web, which is the new stud shooter, and our turret, which is the old stud shooter, with, which has a green stud, and the E-Web has a red stud. So first we'll fire off our old stud shooter to see what we're up against. And obviously, if you can't see it, right there little green stud and it didn't fly very far now we're going to try this with the red stud and i think it might even go off screen let's see it's going to hold it at the same height pretty much and fire and yes it goes completely off screen very far away from where we are so it's going to be all the way over here all the way across the room so we had to go retrieve that so obviously that definitely beats if you've got a sibling and you want to battle, that range definitely beats the range of the older stud shooter. This set retails at $20 US. I'm sure you could get it on sale somewhere, but yes, the price of battle packs has gone from $15 to $20. And we're getting the same thing. Four minifigures and a couple builds. Like, really, we normally get two builds, a speeder and usually a terrain build or a turret. So, But here we got all three of those. And we got a pretty substantial terrain build compared to some other ones we've gotten in $15 sets. And the speeder build, too, which is just a normal speeder. But we've gotten smaller speeders before in the Mandalorian battle pack. So, that's a good value. And then we also get the little E-Web Cannon, which, cheap inclusion, which would have made it that much better, would have been a battery pack to hook it up to. But then we get the new stud shooter piece, which I doubt that many people were after. Plus, you can buy it in a tin. You can get two of them in a ten dollar micro fighter in the Mandalorian Razor Crest micro fighter. So, not buying this set for that. We can get three of these guns for legs, which we're probably not going to take off because the new e, e web's not going to stand up. But I guess that's a little added bonus if you wanted to use those. And then you get four minifigures, and I think this is. A, at the time of the recording of this video, exclusive minifigure to the set, which is the Hoth Scout Trooper, which on the box is just called Scout Trooper, but it's not the same. So then we've got, then we just get three Smoke Troopers, and every single character in the set has a different face underneath. We get every Lego S Star Wars weapon in this set, specifically. Because you can get your normal rifle, here. 
blaster pistol here. And then the extra long sniper rifle here. It's modified a little bit, but you can just pop that off the ends. There, and you get every single Lego Star Wars weapon there is. That in this set. All three, because sadly, there's only three of them. But, you know, there's some other options you could buy online to replace these. But just to buy them and get them in a set is good. This guy had the rifle. And then... So it's a little extra added value if you wanted to swap out weapons for some of your troopers. Or whatever you want to do with those. You can modify more weapons. Or do whatever with those weapons. Give them to different troopers. Because that's an upgrade. That's another upgrade with this battle pack. No stud shooter weapons. Which is great. Or for most people. Most people are going to like that. Of course you get the stud shooter with the e-web. But no ugly stud shooter weapons. We get the actual molded weapons. Which is great. And then our spell bank, which we explained earlier, doesn't have a lot of space in the back. And I forgot to mention, there's a pair of binoculars that come in the set, too, that you can put with your scout troopers, who it would fit best with. So you can get rid of that pistol and just clip it in their hand. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.